Hello, my brothers and sisters, and here we are again showcasing a certified drunk murder with a badge. You may remember this disgusting cockroach from last week, driving 90 miles an hour in a school zone. Better get out of the way, because I'm a cop and I can drive as fast as I want. And we all know how these convictions develop. The drunk thug gets a life sentence for the cameras, and he'll be quietly released on account of good behavior in two years. And the justice system fails again. Check it out. Off-duty Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy is charged in a November 2021 crash that killed a 12-year-old boy. Ricardo Castro made his initial appearance in court today following his arrest. He has been charged with murder and vehicular manslaughter. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Hayes is live in Southgate with the latest for us. Rob? Well, L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon says the deputy in this case already had a long history of speeding and traffic wrecks, and he was a passenger in a fatal wreck just three months before this case. All factors, Gascon says, leading up to a murder charge. Surveillance video caught the crash, a pickup truck plowing into a car at a busy Southgate intersection in November 2021. 12-year-old Isaiah Rodriguez rushed to a hospital, but he died. Behind the wheel of the pickup, this man, off-duty L.A. County Sheriff's Deputy Ricardo Castro. The speed limit, 25 miles per hour, a school zone. Investigators say Castro was going nearly 95. Driving at 95 miles per hour was nearly quadruple the speed limit when school children are present, which shows a show conscious disregard for those children's lives. And because of that, prosecutors are going after the deputy hard. In court today, charged with vehicular manslaughter, reckless driving with a great bodily injury enhancement, and murder. We feel confident that the overwhelming and strong evidence that was gathered justifies the charges and will speak for itself in the courtroom. At a news conference today, District Attorney George Gascon said the murder charge stems from the fact that Castro was a law enforcement officer and knew how dangerous reckless driving can be. The judge at Castro's arraignment today echoing that argument. Instead of serving and protecting the community, he not only put the victim who is deceased at risk, creating great bodily injury, but he put everyone on the highway at risk. Meanwhile, Isaiah's family is left dealing with his death, his mother struggling to describe the family's pain. We're completely broken. We're never going to be a family again. I love you, Isaiah, and I miss you every single day. Castro's bail has been set at $2 million. If convicted, he's facing up to 25 years to life in prison.